Coxidiosis is a self-limiting parasitic disease of the lower gastrointestinal tract. Caused by protozoa of the phylum Apicomplexa, subclass Coccidia, suborder Amerina, family Ameridae. The genus Ameria is of importance in poultry species. There are nine species of Ameria that parasitize the domestic chicken. These are Ameria acervolina, Ameria mitis, Ameria mevati, Ameria precox, Ameria hagani, Ameria maxima, Ameria necatrix, Ameria brunetti, and Ameria tenella. Each parasitizing a different area of the intestines. The upper third by the first five, the middle third by the following two, the lower third by Emeria brunetti, and the cica by Emeria tenella. Coccidia are pretty much ubiquitous in any long standing poultry farm. Susceptible chickens become infected when they ingest a large number of infective oocysts. Emphasis on infective because unsporulated oocysts are not infective. They sporulate when optimal conditions are met. This is usually at temperatures between 21 to 32 degrees Celsius in moist litter with sufficient oxygen. This takes a couple of days. Sporozoids and sporosis form during sporulation. Amyria species have four sporoses with two sporozoids each. Now, when a chicken comes and ingests the sporulated oocyst while pecking through the litter, the oocyst releases the sporosis, which then releases the sporozoids that invade the intestinal mucosa, where they develop into merons or multinucleate schizonts inside the cell. The merons become merozoites that are then released into the lumen, and they repeat this cycle of schizogony a number of times. Eventually, they shift to gametogony. The factors responsible for this shift is unclear though. The macrogametocytes are female, while the microgametocytes are male. They produce macrogametes and microgametes respectively. The two combine to create a brand new oocyst. This process is called syngamy. The oocyst is then discharged unsporulated in the feces. And the cycle repeats. This life cycle only requires one host. And the whole thing can be completed in as little as 7 days. So this occurs in pretty much every poultry farm. But not all chickens develop clinical disease. In a new batch of chicks, with fresh litter, there are few oocysts. A few chicks are infected, the coccidia multiply, and lots more coccidia are pooped out about a week later. The cycle repeats, and the infection rate peaks at around the third or fourth week of the chicken's life. Continued exposure results in the development of immunity in the growing chickens. For this reason, Older birds are generally more resistant than younger birds. Whether or not the chicken develops clinical disease depends on the infective dose, as well as some environmental and host factors. The infective dose is correlated with the number of sporulated oocysts ingested by the chicken. Environmental or farm factors include stocking density, size of the farm, period of vacancy, quality of the litter, ventilation system, presence of animals of different ages, and anticoxidials used, among others. Host factors include host genetics, nutritional factors, presence of concurrent disease, age, and acquired immunity. Clinical signs of coccidiosis include severe diarrhea, decreased feed and water consumption, weight loss, decreased growth rate, decreased egg production, high mortality, and potentially 
Necrotic enteritis caused by Clostridium perfringens, which can occur secondary to coccidiosis. Diagnosis Necropsy is most commonly performed, noting the location and appearance of the lesions. Demonstration of the oocyst in feces with fecal flotation methods can also be done. Control can be achieved through thorough cleaning and disinfection, although oocysts are generally resistant to many disinfectants. Batch depopulation between grow-outs, having good ventilation, increasing biosecurity measures, and keeping birds on wire floors elevated from their droppings. Anticoxidial drugs are used prophylactically. Because of the ubiquitous nature of coccidia in most poultry farms, because the damage occurs before clinical signs develop, and because the drugs may be unable to completely stop an outbreak once one has developed. Antibiotics are sometimes given to prevent secondary infections, particularly by that of Clostridium perfringens. The emergence of drug resistance is a problem with continuous use. To reduce the rate at which this is happening, rotation and shuttle programs on anticoxidials are done. A rotation program is one where the anticoxidials are changed between batches of chickens, whereas a shuttle program is one where the anticoxidials are changed between the starter and grower phases of the chicken's life. To recap, coccidiosis in chickens is caused by a myriad species. Nine species are known to affect chickens. A large portion of its life cycle occurs in the host, with only sporulation occurring outside. Development of disease is determined by the infective dose and some environmental and host factors. Clinical signs include severe diarrhea and production losses. Necrotic enteritis can occur secondary to coccidiosis. Diagnosis is through necropsy and fecal flotation methods. Control is done through improved management, biosecurity measures, and chemoprophylactically.